Well, balance is a study apart. It's the relationship between your tone, which is vibrated air, and between your words. Mm -hmm. Words, tone, and air. And having studied those three things together, you will be well uh, secured yeah. as far as that goes. Whether you get emotionally uh, excited or not, and a lot of people do, go with it. Use your emotion to interpret. And if you cry, cry while you're singing. One can. And it's very emotional. And yeah. brava, you should be emotional. Sure, of course. The thing is, I think what people ask when they ask that question, I've, I've heard that asked several ways, um, <clears throat> is that a lot of people, they, they think that by throwing themselves into the emotion and the phrasing of a piece, that somehow they're going to convey something very special or they're going to maybe use this song as a, an emotional release for themselves. That's not very professional. I, ha I just have to say that. I mean, in reality, anybody who has to do five shows a week you know, can't be carried off on a stretcher at the end of every show. You have to have balance in your life. That's technique. That's what we do. We train people to learn to be emotional, to learn to be, uh, to convey all kinds of feelings, anger, sorrow, whatever it is, you know, and still keep their vocal balance. Otherwise, there's no point. That's exactly the work we do. The, the whole point in doing the, the work on balancing a voice is so that at the end, a singing artist or a speaking artist can be flexible and spontaneous and transparent. That's what we want. So of yep. course it's perfectly possible.